Well guys, let's face it, in the end it will be a zero-sum game. Half of the people here on the channel are against, voting no on everything, other half are yes, most people on Twitter are yes as well. But here is the scoop, here is the actual data that proves the point that uh, hedge funds, what they aim for, what they want from Adam Aaron, Adam Aaron is doing so. Look at this, Jim Chanos earlier when the ape was created said that uh, they're buying APE, they're long on the APE because essentially the APE price uh, will be the same as AMC. And they said that APE and AMC are the same paper. They just want to buy the cheaper one. As you can see over here, Jim Chanos believes that the APE will be trading in the future as the same price of AMC stock. Don't forget, he has a short position on AMC. For him, it makes so much sense to buy cheap APE and then convert the APE into AMC. And the APEs that are gonna vote yes are so happy about it they're so happy that they're going to convert their apes into amc because maybe it's good for them right it's good to have additional amc shares cheap but they are forgetting that the people who also hold apes are short sellers who will also will get a cheap amc shares that they could use to cover their short positions just think about you short amc at 50 dollars and you get the reverse stock split and AMC uh, that you shorted 50, now worth five dollars, right? Just think about how, how much of a discount you're gonna get purchasing a bunch of apes at back 20, 30, 40. Just think about, they will be converting a bunch of it, right? Because they purchase so many millions of apes, especially the ones that actually borrow the shares. This is why guys, in my opinion, and the financial advice, this is very, very favorable for the short sellers. All the short sellers who got into AMC, shorting the company, you know, for many, 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 many months. Now, they will be able, if this vote actually pass, to be able to purchase back the shares on open market. Having the shares automatically, if they actually own the apes, they will have the shares automatically in their account. They don't have to go on the open market looking to buy the shares at the high prices, pushing the stock price going up, right? Just think about, this is... How it's gonna work it's not if or not right the second point like i said is it's a zero-sum game if the vote passes in this direction oh yes or oh no uh, the stock will go in completely different direction it's not like whatever happens is gonna be you know 50 percent win and 50 percent loss or the result won't be uncertain it's a zero-sum game if people vote yes this is going to happen with the stock if people vote no this is what's going to happen with the stock uh, it's a, it's a clearly zero sum game. Somebody's gonna win and somebody's gonna lose. The only person that's not gonna lose is Adam Aaron because he's already a millionaire, which nothing wrong with this. And why I find disturbing is because when you see expectations of the short sellers happening in real life, right? What Jim Chalmers predict and it's happening right now. And this is a big red flag. If you see something predicted from a short seller, from a person that doesn't uh, see or hope for a better future for the company becomes a reality well this is a big red flag why should i praise or you know hope things to happen in a way in which uh, this gentleman predict right doesn't make sense and like i said yesterday there is a chance ape before the conversion to actually be higher price wise versus amc ape could be three four dollars uh, AMC could be three dollars, especially with this low volume, no interest of people trading, no interest of people buying the dip so far. This is why yesterday I asked you, are you willing to to convert your your more expensive ape for cheaper AMC if that actually happens? Because at the end of the day, everything it's numbers. Uh, if ape it's more expensive than AMC, well, the shorts most likely will vote no. A lot of people also speculating that, as we all know, ape gives you ability to vote and there are plenty of votes that are currently held from institutional investors who own the ape so a lot of people are saying already that you know the vote is already secured because they have enough apes to vote for or against whatever they want this is another thing that should be considered as well in the end the vote might not actually be determined from the apes but from the institutional investors leave your thoughts in the comment section guys and and Always use the, the, the actual data, right? This is the actual data. What is the ownership of the ape from the institutions? What is the ownership of the ape of individual investors? This 90% individual ownership of AMC stock that should be relevant for 90% ownership in the ape as well, it's not equal anymore. I don't know how this actually changed. 
but uh, how the stock would go down so much, like especially when the announcement of the reverse stock split, how can the stock would be down 24% when the 95% or around 90% of the stock is owned by individuals and they're not selling, right? This again, it's a big red flag that you have to think about. Subscribe to the channel guys, stick to the facts and come back for more. Yeah.